But when you love it, there, that makes it easier. You know, in, in, in real life, sometimes we'll say, how come that this guy, how come that this lady is choosing this guy as if they are not equal? <laughs> this guy, this lady is beautiful and this guy is not so handsome. <laughs> but the, the, the thing is that lady learns to love that guy. He may not be handsome to you, but he is handsome to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> the reality in yes. life. He may not be handsome, she may not be beautiful to you, but to me, she is the most beautiful. Because she learns all the time. Love him. Love him. We need to love our child. So in in, in our job, we need to love. We need to love our child. Why? You know, fellow workers, we pastors. I have said this. We pastors, before we will conduct a crusade, mm -hmm. we'll send laymen, mm -hmm. spend money mm -hmm. to do Bible study and inform the people that next month we'll have our evangelistic meeting. So the pastor will spend a lot of money, mm -hmm. transportation, everything, plug, you know, tarpaulin for everything. And after that, the evangelistic meeting will come. After this, uh, after evangelistic meeting, big money. Is being what spent for that but we did church we are fortunate why you are paid i am paid to minister yeah. we have students in our classrooms they are here for you to minister yes. they pay you for them to be ministered they pay you for you to give them bible study they pay you for them to know about god we pastors, we spend money for us to evangelize. But we teachers, we are fortunate enough. Because we have students who come and pay for you, pay for us, for us to minister to them. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of this privilege. Take this seriously. Because God is really sure of putting us here. We are teachers, we are not only good in mathematics. We're not really good in English and other subjects, but God wants us someday. He said, Have you done my part? Mm -hmm. not, he will not be telling you, You're not a good teacher in math, I will not take you to heaven. What matters most? Have we done our best? Have we done our part to evangelize the students inside our muscle? Mm -hmm. Take responsibility, take this seriously. Every day, make your classroom as an evangelistic meeting place. Yes. Evangelistic meeting place. Don't forget the IFL every day. No, IFL in our work, in our words, in our lessons. IFL integration of faith, learning, and life. IFL <laughs> the IFL integration of faith, learning, and life. We need to live a life. What we have taught, we should learn. We should live accordingly. Because these students are sent. These young students, innocent students, are sent. At this if these students will learn about God, they will be also be teaching and telling their parents that my school is God. I have known Jesus in my school. If not because of this school, I have not learned more than God. Will I be feeling worker someday? Our students will be coming and tapping us from there and telling us, Teacher, thank you so much. If not because of me, I may not be here. We may not be able to receive the rewards now, but someday our teachers and students will come to us telling us, Thank you, Teacher, for teaching me, for bringing me, for introducing Jesus to my life. And that because of the teacher, I cannot be here. Take, of, take this privilege of teaching our students to drive, bring them to Jesus. Because this is sacred and rare opportunity. Don't Amen. just master your math, don't just master your English, master also your doctrine. Because God is coming in this season. Amen. 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 Can I share my experience with you? Yes,